What is up guys, my name is Chase and these are my hands. Today I just wanted to share some of the exclusive My Nintendo Store items that I have. Not to get confused with the My Nintendo Rewards service, but the My Nintendo Store is basically Nintendo's online store where you can buy games from the eShop as well as actual like physical merchandise. And they do sell some like third party merchandise and whatnot, but there is like a section of the store that is just dedicated to the exclusive merchandise directly from Nintendo. And that's usually where I shop because, you know, if I want a generic Nintendo shirt, I'll just go to Hot Topic or something. And I guess that's where we'll kind of start is with some of the shirts that I got from the My Nintendo store. If you've watched my videos, you've probably seen a lot of these shirts. But this one's one of my favorite. It is a Splatoon shirt. I really like when t-shirt designs, they aren't like super duper in your face about like, hey, this is from Nintendo. Because honestly, that would be too embarrassing to wear in public. <laughs> like stuff like this, you know, it, it still has the Splatoon logo, but it's more like you can't really tell that this is from a Nintendo game per se, but you have like all the Splatoon weapons on here. Very minimal, which I like. So I think this is a really cool design. And all of the Nintendo exclusive clothes has like this little Nintendo tag on the bottom, which I think is kind of fun. And actually speaking of Splatoon, this isn't actually from the Nintendo store, but it is like a Splatoon t-shirt design that's like officially licensed, I guess. This is the Uniqlo Splatoon 3 shirt. If I'm not mistaken, Uniqlo is like a Japanese brand, but they have a lot of shirts and a lot of times they are quite cheap, especially compared to like the insane prices we're paying for t-shirts nowadays. A lot of their shirts will actually be like less than $20, which is like really great for like cheap shirts. But yeah, they did have an official Splatoon line and they often have like licensed clothing and merchandise. A while back, they had a clothing line for the Super Mario Bros movie. But anyway, this is the Splatoon 3 shirt that I have. I think it's really cool too. I like that the sleeve has this little like Splatoon splatter on it. I think it's like a fun little detail. Here's another shirt you've probably seen in a lot of my videos. This is the Bowser shirt. Once again, not super duper in your face about the fact that this is Mario or Nintendo. And also, once again, a pretty like minimal design, which I really like. There's little extra attention to detail here with the Bowser like logo on the sleeve. And something I will say is that this Bowser shirt and this Splatoon shirt both have a very similar type of t-shirt material. I don't know about you guys, but I am quite picky when it comes to the material that especially t-shirts are made out of. I absolutely hate when t-shirts are too rough and they almost feel like sandpaper to me. These ones I think are the perfect material. I mean, we can actually like look at what kind of material it is. 60% cotton, 40% polyester made in Mexico. And the reason I'm bringing this up right now is because more recently that I've been buying exclusive Nintendo t-shirts, they did change the material that their t-shirts are made out of, which I guess speaking of, we can take a look at one of the newer shirts. This is a Metroid shirt with the little screw attack logo. Oh, this one doesn't even have the material on the tag, but this one is much softer than the Bowser and Splatoon shirts that we have, which is still fine. Like I totally think this material of shirt is fine. Once again, it's just that I am very picky. I think there's a fine line between shirts being too soft and too rough. This one leans a bit closer to the too soft side. But again, I think I would rather have a too soft shirt than a too rough shirt. But yeah, this one's like very, very soft and like almost like silky feeling. Not my favorite. Like once again, I think the Bowser and Splatoon shirts were absolutely perfect. But yeah, this is still totally wearable. It just feels like it kind of like stretches a bit too easily. I don't know. It feels a bit too soft. So I don't know what happened because they've pretty much completely shifted over all of their t-shirts to having this kind of material now. I think it's like a different brand or company that prints these shirts too on their website. But yeah, this is one of my more recent shirts that I bought. Actually, I think in the same order that I got that Metroid shirt, I also got this Super Mario Odyssey shirt, which I think is like really cute and funny. It's Cappy on top of a cheap cheap. Once again, being very picky about my t-shirt selections. I will say that when there are back designs on shirts, it's not my favorite thing. And luckily this shirt doesn't have like, you know, one of those big prints on the back, but it does have this little print on the bottom corner here. It's a little Goomba with Cappy and a mustache. And then there's also the Super Mario Odyssey logo on the bottom corner. It's honestly probably just a psychological thing. I get very like self-conscious when I have designs on the backs of my t-shirts. I don't know, I feel like people are like staring at the back of my t-shirt and then I get all like self-conscious about it. It's like a weird thing, I don't know. <laughs> 
But yeah, we also have the little Nintendo tag at the bottom. I guess speaking of Mario, this was also another shirt that I picked up. It's a red t-shirt with Mario stomping on some Goombas. Very similar to the Bowser shirt. I imagine this was probably in like the same line of Mario t-shirts. Not gonna lie, I'd never ever wear colors. Like pretty much my entire closet is just black t-shirts. So having this bright red t-shirt is definitely a change of pace for me. But I just wanted a red t-shirt from Nintendo because I was really hoping that Nintendo would have some kind of an official red t-shirt with like the white Nintendo logo on it. I feel like you would often see, you know, Nintendo employees wearing that kind of t-shirt or like at the Nintendo store in New York. But yeah, this red Mario shirt was like the closest I could get to having an actual red Nintendo shirt. There's a little Mario logo on the sleeve. Hopefully one day I can make it out to Nintendo New York and maybe they'll have an actual like red Nintendo shirt. And then finally the last Nintendo store exclusive t-shirt that I have here, which was actually what made me want to make this video. This is the Animal Crossing Brewster the Roost shirt. It was kind of randomly when Nintendo just released a bunch of merch for Brewster in Animal Crossing. I think it was quite some time after the DLC got released. I don't know, I might be wrong on that. They had actual like coffee mugs and like a coffee maker. There were a lot of Brewster stuff that you could get on the Nintendo store. I don't know if it's still up, but I thought that was really cool. Like they just did like a whole line of merchandise, just a bunch of like random stuff. I thought it was really fun. So I picked up this shirt. Not gonna lie, on the website, it looked like it was black, but it's definitely like brown, <laughs> which is very new for me. I don't think I've ever had a brown t-shirt in my life. <laughs> but it's different and I think the design is very cute. And once again, this is like the new uh, material that they use for t-shirts, very soft and kind of stretchy. But yeah, those are all the exclusive t-shirts that I have from the Nintendo store. I did also pick up some like miscellaneous merchandise from the Nintendo store. This is a Splatoon 2 hat, which I really was excited to get. For the longest time, this was sold out and I was like so bummed because I thought this was a really cool looking hat. It has all the Splatoon like typography on it. There's some stuff underneath the brim, which is really fun. Even the inside has like some Splatoon designs. It has Splatoon 2, which is like funny that this is a Splatoon 2 hat rather than a Splatoon 3 hat. But yeah, I think it's a really cool hat. I recently wore this when my family and I had a little party at the pool and I felt so cool in my Splatoon hat. <laughs> And then finally, this is something that I bought because Nintendo does offer free shipping for orders $50 and over. So I just bought this to make my order over $50. This is like a Yoshi journal. And I'm not gonna lie, this is not the best and most high quality feeling journal. It's very much just like a paperback book, I guess. Which is fine, I mean, if you look inside, definitely have some pages to do some journaling. We even have a little calendar at the back, that's fun. We do have a cute little Yoshi design here which I like. Nintendo logo on the back. But when you compare this journal to a journal that PlayStation offers on their store, this is a Sackboy journal which they released for Sackboy A Big Adventure. I think it's pretty much like no contest. Like the PlayStation journal is so much higher quality than the Nintendo one, which is like really sad to say. But yeah, obviously this one is like hardcover. You have a unique design on the front and the back. And then you have this design on the inside for Sackboy A Big Adventure. And then all the pages are actually like, you know, you can see the little Sackboy A Big Adventure logo on the bottom corner, which is not my favorite thing because it takes up space where you could potentially be writing stuff. But I mean, it at least shows that like they put in customization and effort into the actual paper and the pages in here. Once again, the Yoshi one is just straight up like blank pages. But yeah, it obviously it's like ringed, so it like feels really nice. Overall, it just feels like a much more high quality journal compared to the Nintendo one. So that was a bit of a bummer. Like I was honestly a little bit bummed that the Nintendo one just feels very, it's almost like they just made this in Vistaprint or something. But anyway, those those are some of the merchandise that I got exclusively from the My Nintendo online store. I honestly have a lot of fun just every so often looking at the My Nintendo store and just browsing the exclusive items that they've added to their shop. Right now, as I'm filming this video, they have some stuff for the upcoming Nintendo Live, which is really fun. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys have any of the My Nintendo store exclusive items. If you guys want to see some of the Nintendo Switch online exclusive replica controllers that I've picked up, check out the video below. For now, thank you so much for watching. My name is Chase and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.